So we are going on to contouring using leveling, dumbbell level. Okay. So we have been through the theory of contouring, and now we are going on to the experiment four or the last experiment using dumbbell level that is contouring. How to develop a contour map? And we had discussed about four or five methods for contouring. Okay. In now in here we are experimenting with method of squares where we are drawing squares in the plot and we will be measuring levels on each of the corners then at the office we will be establishing a paper with it and from that paper we will be establishing interpolating contour lines okay i think i hope you remember the procedure okay so now for the time being we have planned a set of points more precisely about four rows and four columns and five rows of points okay and first point is named as 1a and from that point we will be beginning the leveling procedure 1b 1c 1d then second row 2a 2b 2c 2d 3a 3b 3c 3d okay etc till 5a 5b 5c 5d okay so the exact model will be we will be drawing in a paper plain paper so that it can be made into a map contour map and in that paper we will be marking all the levels taken from this instrument station so this is our paperwork for method of squares contour mapping the points as in the ground we are replicating this paper 1a 1b 1c 1d etc to 5a 5b 5c 5d okay so these are all squares as replicated in the ground and we will be marking the site readings taken at ground at each points okay okay so the surveyor one will be taking levels from this instrument station and through the help of Tharwar 2, we will be recording instrument station leveling readings or le site readings in our paper and then we will be interpolating to get contour map. Okay, so we will proceed with the values, site readings. So, first value 1A. 1.3 oh. is the 1A value. N now we move on to 1B. One point two seven. One C. Five point two seven. One point two seven again. One D. Five point three. One point three. We'll move on to two A. One point three one two B one point two eight one point two eight two C one point two seven five one point two seven five two D one point three one point three 3A to the third row. 1.29 five. 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 1.29 5 4a, 4a, 4d and 5a, 5b, 5c and 5d then we will proceed to office for drawing contours. So we have marked all the points in the respective points 1a to 5d 
there are a variation of points but the range is about 1.27 to 3.1 or 3.2 is the maximum value okay so the range is in between 1.27 to 1.32 okay right now I am considering I can draw a contour line of 1 point contour line for 1.29 meters of height 1.29 meters of height okay for that uh, I'll start from 1a 1a to 1b line in this line there may be two points having 1.29 point okay so I'll be taking just one line okay in this section 1a to 1b one end is 1.3 and the other is 1.27 okay so in this interval you should interpolate and obtain 1.29 as a point okay right now I have interpolated that into uh, into the line this point that is uh, 0.33 distance from 1.27 will be 1.28 and this point will be 1.29 okay so this is our point one point one it is it will be one point 29 meters okay so what this is 1.27 1.28 1.29 you are assuming it is a uniform slope in the difference uh, okay uh, then 1.3 okay then there is uh, 1b 2b line the difference will not be having a 1.29 line uh, position because uh, it is 1.27 and 28 there won't be a 29 okay and next line is 2a 2b line that in that uh, you can interpolate as 28 29 1.3 1 1.31 so this will be 1.29 1.29 and then we have 1.29 exact value at 3b and 1.29 at exact value at 4c and 5c at 1.29 okay so now we'll be we can join all these points to get the contour line so i'll start from here with smooth lines you should be joining okay we have a line and this contour line is 1.29 so point to notice this 1.29 value that you have drawn the line of is not the reduced level it is just a site value that we took from leveling stuff so first you will have to convert this 1.29 into reduced level according to benjamin and all as we do in height of instrument method okay so uh, if 1a was 100 meters accordingly you will have to convert this 1.29 to reduced level according to uh, methods we have already studied for differential set, uh, leveling okay as all these points was with one single instrument setup you can work it out very easily okay and with that reduced level you will be marking that value the line will be same but the value will be the reduced level value if it is 89.1 it will be 89.1 line if it is 99.2 99.9 it will be 99.9 .9 line okay i hope you get it thank you